Yo, what is up everyone? Uh, today's video, I am going to be covering question and answering evaluation. Uh, I think this is an important topic to cover, uh, especially if you're going to start using some of these LLMs in production. You want to make sure that you are providing you know, quality work and quality responses. Uh, and I know there's a lot of applications coming out for question and answering, and I think it's a pretty big use case. And it's also just good to have like peace of mind, like say you're, you know, working for a company that's using this and they want to make sure that, you know, the, the stuff's doing what it's supposed to pretty much. Um, so that's what we're going to get into today. And I'm just going to kind of explain the process, just like a simple process that you can go through to do that. Uh, so for this video, I'm just doing another Jupyter notebook. Uh, so. Uh, first, you got to install Langchain and Python.env just so um, you don't show your OpenAI key to anybody uh, if you're doing a video as well. <laughs> um, and then for this video, we're gonna. These are all the imports that we're using. I actually don't think uh, you need a vector store for this case. I think that's actually pretty unnecessary. Um, so I can actually just remove this. I'll just comment it out just so you know that we don't actually we actually don't need it um yeah no you don't need any of this uh so cool um so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna import all the things we need so prompt template lm chain the open ai model uh you know we're getting oh we don't even need a character text splitter either um or open ai embeddings and yeah, so we just need that uh, pi PDF loader, the QA generation chain, and the chat open AI model. Um, so once you do that, you know, load your environment variables in. You only need open AI API key for this. And next, uh, so for me, like I know there's like a notebook that shows you here, like put out examples, and they don't really show you how to like generate the examples and run the evaluations kind of in the same notebook. So I'm just kind of like putting both of those together. So let's say you have a document. I'm using best of mass 2021 to 2022. This is just like a fitness research report um, that I have just like for a lot of just like practice uh, stuff. And like when I'm doing exploration, I just need some dummy data. It's a good PDF for me to go to because it's got a lot of stuff on it. <clears throat> so first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, load our, we're going to load the PDF uh, into documents and we're, we just have a simple prompt here as well from a prompt template template's going to say you know question there's the question new line answer and the input variable is a question next we are going to generate the questions for examples because when you're running evaluation on Q&A you first need to apply examples to uh, to the chain so you have uh, you know like predictions that you can grade against <clears throat> All right. So from here we have we are getting a chain uh, using the QA generation chain from the calling from LLM and we're using the chat open AI model for this. And then for this video, just for simplicity purposes, I just made two examples. So the way you would do this is you just say chain dot run and then Pages is like all the documents, like it's the array of document structs. So you're just going to pass in the page content for however many number of documents you want. Um, so QA1, so you know, just like the first in the array. QA2 is the second in the array. And uh, I'm putting these both in like the same array because we want all the examples to be in the same array. And for some reason, I... I don't know why I think I it like passes back an array for each QA so like this one was like an array with the object inside and this was also an array so I just popped the first index off of each array um, to put it in the same array so we'll just run it again okay not sure what's going on maybe we just restart the whole thing yeah, let's restart the whole thing. Um, okay, so back to the top. Take it from the top. Uh, 
pip install. All the imports, the good stuff. Load Z documents. And then we'll run. I'll just run it right now because it's going to come after. Go sequentially. So now the QA generation chain's running. We're generating the QA examples. And I have it printed out. So we have question, where's the title of the publication that Eric Helms and all these other people it like contribute to? The answer is mass. Um, question, what is, Eric, who, what is Eric Helms? Role at 3D Muscle Journey. Uh, the answer is Eric Helms is the chief science officer and coach for drug-free strength and physique competitors at all levels. Okay. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get an instance of a, a large language model and put it into an LLM chain with the prompt we had from before. And then this is where we call chain.apply with the examples to get the predictions. So the predictions are the strength and journey, the strength and conditioning research review. And Eric Holmes is the founder and CEO of 3D Muscle Journey. He is responsible for the overall direction and strategy of the company. Okay. Now that we have our predictions, we are going to create our QA eval chain, uh, which we can get from the QA eval chain uh, module that Langchain has so graciously provided us with. And we will get the graded outputs as well. So we're instantiating the LLM. We have the, we instantiate the eval chain. Then we get graded, graded outputs by just calling eval chain to evaluate. We pass in the examples from before we pass in the predictions, and then the question key is question, uh, which you can see here. That's the, so it's going to be looking at that, and the prediction key is text, and you can see that is the key for the predictions that were output. So we run this, and now we can print these out. Cool. So example one, what is the title of the publication? The real answer is mass. And the predicted answer was strength and conditioning research review. Uh, the second example was, uh, yeah, what is Eric Helms' role? Real answer is he's the chief science officer, and the predicted answer is he's the founder and CEO responsible for. Okay, and that was uh, great as correct. So, yeah, this is just another quick video, but I think you know evaluation is important when you're developing with large language models. I think it's important to make sure that you're actually you know outputting correct data somewhat uh, when you're doing this because if not like what's the point like you're just like spitting out gibberish and that's not helpful for anybody and yeah so that is the video if you liked it uh, and have any questions drop a comment you know like the video share with your friends subscribe um and yeah if you want to like learn more and like ask me questions I, I have like the friday lunch discord which is in like the top right of my banner on my channel page and in the description so yeah check that out come say hi um and yeah other than that there's no outro so uh goodbye